Welcome back to my channel and today I am doing an unboxing of my next young adult book, a K-pop rom-com called Once Upon a K-Prom. I am back after a very long hiatus of being away from doing YouTube because I have a package from my new publisher, Disney Hyperion, and I'm fairly certain that the only thing they would be sending me right now are advanced reader copies or galleys of my new K-pop rom-com, Once Upon a K-Prom. Okay, I'm really excited. All right. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. So there were sirens out the window and I didn't want that to be in the background, so yes. But I wanted to share more about the book and first of all, I wanted to brag on this beautiful cover. We got the very talented Valinxi to do this cover, a super talented illustrator and webcomic. So I'm really, really honored that we got such an amazing illustrator to do the cover of Once Upon a Cape Prom. I absolutely love her work and I will tag her right here and down in the description box so you can check out more of her work. So I am going to make a whole other video on how a book cover design comes about and how a final cover gets made and I'm going to use the process for Once Upon a K Prom as the rubric for that since that's the latest cover design process that I went through but as a little sneak peek about what I'm going to talk about I did want to share some fun things about the main characters using the cover as my little visual guide. So this is Elena Su and she is my main character. She is 17 years old, a high school student, Korean American, and she never ever ever felt like she belonged. Um, she is the youngest of five siblings. So she kind of feels like she's in the shadows, both of her smarter, more successful older sisters, as well as her more popular, charismatic twin brother. Um, and then this is Robbie Choi. He is obviously the K-pop star. Um, and the pink hair is canon. He has pink hair in the book when it starts. And he shows up on her doorstep after seven years and says, we made this promise when we were 10 years old to go to prom and I'm here to keep that promise. Of course, for Elena, she's wondering why is this international K-pop star who totally ghosted me after he debuted suddenly here to keep a random promise we made seven years ago. So if you wanna know the answer to that, then you'll have to check it out. This was actually my first time writing a contemporary novel, a rom-com. Um, even before I got published, all the books that I ever wrote were either science fiction or fantasy or thrillers or something like that. So this was kind of new for me. It was a lot of trial and error, but I ended up having so much fun. And part of it was because I just leaned into all the things that I love as a reader. So friends to lovers tropes, um, complicated family relationships, friendships, as well as K-pop, obviously. Um, I have such a dear love of K-pop. I've been super duper into it since first gen, like the 90s. <laughs> I don't know if that ages me or anything, but um, it's just been something that's really connected me with an aspect of my Korean culture that I really, really needed as a kid growing up in Central Florida without a huge Korean community. So K-pop is always near and dear to my heart. And if you want to get into K-pop, then definitely pop any questions about it down below and I will try to answer them. I will also put my Spotify playlist of a very comprehensive list of K-pop that I love in the description box. But yeah, if you want me to make a video of like an introduction to K-pop or how to become a K-pop fan or whatever you want to call it, then definitely let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm so excited to share this book with the world and because I have a box full of arcs now from my publisher, I am definitely going to start with a giveaway. If you want to win a galley of Once Upon a K-Prom, then check out the information box for how to enter this giveaway. Um, and I really just hope that everyone find some entertainment and joy in this book because it's a book that I wrote during the pandemic pretty much and I needed a lot of joy at the time so I tried to infuse as much of that joyful feeling into this as possible to share with all of you. So I'm very excited that it's going to be out in the world in like a few months. <laughs> 
So yes, that was my unboxing slash book chat to introduce you guys to Once Upon a K-Prom. If you liked this video, then I would really appreciate a thumbs up or even a subscription to this channel. I am going to try to be more active on it, especially now that my journey to publishing this book is hitting the ground running. Um, so yeah, I hope to have more content for you soon and I will see everybody next time. Bye!